Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Stella. Hello. If this is your first time of seeing me, hello, you are welcome to this beautiful family. For those of you that has been returning with love, yeah, ba, yeah, bo, yeah, ba, hello, you are welcome again to our channel. Thank you very much for stopping by. Your love will never be taken for granted. I love you all. Anyway, what I'm about to say today, anyway, as you can see, I'm outside recording. I just decided to record outside today. Let me still come out from that my corner. Let me come out and um, record outside today. So you might be hearing little, little noise. Please ignore the noise. Just, just focus on this pretty lady that you are seeing here. Just this chocolate lady. Just focus on me and the word that will be coming out from my mouth. Okay? Yes. So that's just it. So let's go. So what I want to say today 99% of people are going to disagree with me. It's only one person that is going to agree with me. So you that one person that will agree with me, please, I would like to see your comment in the comment section below. And you those 99% that will disagree with me, I would also like to see your comment in the comment section below and just say your opinion about what I want to say now. But before I say what I want to say, let me meet you in this other side first, okay? So that's just it. Good. So if you are living in Nigeria and you have not been hearing of Spring Africa, hey, what is going on in your area? Visit Spring Africa. Spring Africa is an online shop where you can shop anything you want. They have everything there. Is it children things? things is it grocery is it ele electronics whatever you want to order just go there place your order check them at spree africa www.spree.africa check them out they have everything and they do pay on delivery nationwide if you are living outside the country also nigeria and you want to order anything for your loved ones friends family members you can also order for them they will bring it they will deliver it to their doorsteps yeah so that's just it they are very good quality and they have this speed you get your order within two days if you know you are going to be satisfied eh? because they are very good so that is just it thank you for doing that and don't forget to place your order with stella's voice stella's voice if you use stella's voice to place your order you are going to get 10 percent discount so that is it thank you for doing that okay so now let me meet you in this other side so what i was saying what i wanted to say i said 99% of people are going to disagree with me. 1% of 1% is going to agree with me. What I want to say now is this. You see, uh, it concerns men, it concerns women. Men, this goes for you most. You see men, they will promise woman or their wife that, ah, you see, I have self-control. I don't believe that I'm going to shit on you. It can never happen. My body is the temple of God this and that and that and that yeah let me tell you it's good to promise your wife i don't say you should not humble your you should not take care of yourself you should not have self-control but man stop promising us men don't promise women that it's not going to happen even if your wife asks you that do you think you are going to shit on me one day let me give you a tip tell your wife that i am just a human being I am not God. I am not, I am not bigger than temptation. The only thing you can do for me is just keep praying for me that temptation that will be more than me should not come to me. That is the fact. It's bitter, but that's the fact. Sometimes we think we are strong. Sometimes we think we are strong. It's because we have not been faced with that temptation. When you see yourself inside that temptation, then you will know you are not strong. You will know you are not strong. That's why Jesus Christ said to the disciples, he said, Pray, wash and pray so that you don't fall into temptation because Jesus Christ knows that temptation is there. Even Christ himself, he faced temptation. He faced temptation. So don't tell your wife that I don't believe that I'm not going to face, I don't think, I don't believe that uh, I, will, I can shit on you. No, I have self-control. Let me tell you, do you know what happened in the Bible? Peter, Peter, when they were taking Jesus Christ away, Peter, full of that boldness, of that spirit that I don't believe that you can take Christ away. He cut off the ear of one of those people that was taking Christ, uh, taking Christ away. Do you know what Christ said to him? He said, no, you don't do that. You that believe now that you are strong. A time is coming, strength will fail you. You will deny me three times. 
You will deny me three times. Now you think you are strong. You are blah, 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 blah. you that is fighting for me now, believing that you love me. Time is coming. Strength will fail you. You are going to deny me three times. That is the fact. And it's Apple Peter denying Christ three times. That is human being for you. Your husband can promise you, man, you can think, yeah, I love my wife. It cannot happen. But when you are faced with temptation that is more than you, or more, it can happen. It can happen. So what you will tell your wife is that I'm a human being. Please be praying for me that temptation that will be more than me should not come to me. That is it. And now for the women, that doesn't mean that the man doesn't have self-control. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love you. It doesn't mean that he doesn't believe in himself. But if, you, if he, he, he prepare himself like that as a, as a human being, that one will keep him more evil uh, balance to know that I'm a human being, I should be at alert that temptation is all over. Than to say, I believe, I believe, then the day will strength fail you. You will say it is devil. It is not devil. You are just a human being. You are not God. That's why no matter the alarm, they are shouting everywhere, pastor this, pastor that. You know, they shock me because they are human beings. They are not God. They can fall at any time. And don't forget that anointing, if God wants to collect anointing, we collect it without anybody's permission. So don't think that because uh, somebody carry anointing, uh, not in case you are seeing uh, something flying, this is uh, the weather, I think it wants to snow. So if you are seeing some white thing flying, it's not like it's the snow. It wants to snow. So that's just it. And as for the women, you guys should be coming down. I trust my husband with my life. It cannot happen. Your life now won't bar. Don't use your life to trust anybody. I trust him with my life. I know he can never do it with my life. Your life is one bar. Now break a plate. If you fall, it don't break. Don't trust with your life that it cannot happen. He said the man is a human being. We are trusting too much with our life. That's why when it happens, our liver want to fall inside our hand. We want to vomit our liver. We get broken. Trust him with your heart. Let it be at the back of your head that this person is a human being. All I can just do now, I will be praying for him that temptation that is more than him should not come to him. All this morning, I swear the shake follow everywhere. So you will not be praying for him. You say you trust him with your, li your, with your life. Madam, be praying for him. Be doing the necessary. Be Play your part. Just be praying for him. Play your part as a good woman and be praying for him so that he will not fall inside the temptation. But you don't need to say, with my life, I'm trusting him. Trust him here. Put it at the back of your head that he is a human being. He is a human being. That is just it. Do you know what the book of, uh, 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 I think it's Apostle Paul that said it in the book of uh, uh, Romans. Somewhere in the book of Romans, I will put it here. He said, the things I hate doing, I see myself doing them. That thing that I want to do, that good thing that I want to do, I'm not, I see myself not doing that. It is that bad thing that I don't want to do. That's what I see myself doing. Meaning strength was failing him at that time. Strength can fail anybody. Strength can fail anybody. It doesn't mean that that person wants to do that thing, but at that particular time, strength failed the person. Strength failed the person. That's why you see when they are, anywhere I see people talking such a thing, I say, it is grace. They don't know why I am saying it is grace. Because as a man, strength will fail you. A time will come that strength will fail you. It is the grace of God that will sustain you. It is the grace of God. Because man has no power of his own. Your strength will surely fail you one day. That's why I keep shouting grace. When I'm saying grace, people will say, eh, grace, me say you're not going to get self-control. Now grace go sustain you. Your strength go fail you. Strength will fail you. It is only grace that can sustain you. That's why you keep praying. God, help me. Temptation that will be more than me should not come to me. So women, don't trust with your life. Your life is one bar. Don't do that. You trust with your life. Your life now one bar. You go, you go off. Trust here. Let here tell you say the man now human be him be. So that's just it. So I just said I should quickly come here and talk about it because when I see people talking about, ah, but this man, eh, you're supposed to respect your wife, but this, yes, he's supposed to respect the wife. I'm not, a, I'm, I don't say the man should go and shit, the man should shit, or I don't say it is good to shit, but I'm just trying to say 
they are human beings and anything is possible. So that's just it. All we can just do, women, keep praying for them. Keep praying for them. Have it at the back of your head that they are human beings. So that when it happens, your heart no go there for your, your, your you will not be bro broken. You will not be disappointed. It's because we don't want to tell ourselves the truth. That's why we keep getting disappointed. We don't want to see people as human beings. That's why we get, keep getting disappointed. By the time we start seeing people as human beings, things will happen, we will not be shocked. Things will happen, we will not be disappointed because we know they are human beings. So that's just it. Anyway, like I said, 99% of people that disagree with me, please let me see your comment. And you don't want person that one person that agree with me let me also see your comment let us interact and you know trash it up so thank you for watching as usual if you've not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button put on your notification bell that's where you will know whenever i upload a, a new video so thank you very much until i see you in my next video eh, 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 eh. all right see you in my next video bye so when I pull up in my whip, you the beef in me My being on love Only what bless me with the right and niggas Deleting all the left and niggas Family, friends and foe I don't know who to throw